Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're on I-40. We're heading up to Walnut Canyon National Monument. We were here a couple years ago during the pandemic, and the thing was all closed down. And wasn't very good to see. Plus, guess what? I'm on my way up here to visit a good friend of mine too, up around the Flagstaff area. So we're going to video our way up here. Anyway, I thought I always wanted to come back here because when I was here before, it was totally shut down. You could get in it, walk around a little bit, but nothing was open. And it is so pretty here. Absolutely beautiful. Plus, there is an excessive heat warning for almost the entire state of Arizona. And up here, it's a little bit cooler. Yay. <laughs> this is a fee-based park. There's a campground here, too. Looks like everything's opened up. But I get to use my senior pass card to get in. Hi there, awesome. How many people in the car? Just me. Just you? Been here before? Uh, when it was all closed up. Okay, you want a brochure? Yeah. Okay. This is the center straight ahead, okay? Yeah. Have a great day now. There's supposed to be like dwellings built in the side, like cave dwellings in the mountains. You know, Arizona is just loaded all over. I don't know how many times we've uh, seen ruins this year. And it looked like their visitor center's open, so hey, let's go for a little walk. It's warm here. I mean, we're at 7,000 feet. Right around there somewhere. And it's in the 90s here. Oof. Plus the air's thin. Kind of hard to breathe. All right, well, it's open, yay. Yeah, last time I was here, uh, the trails were, the only trail was the upper trail. Everything else was totally shut down. Well, let's go ahead and check it out first, huh? Walnut Canyon National Monument, we're here. No, I'm just kind of goofing on. We love that. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see young people doing this stuff. All right, here we go. Here's our visitor center. See what we got. Sounds like a movie play in. Replica of how they lived in the side of the mountains, huh? What a way of life. And looks like some displays. Understanding the past. You know, a lot of these places had just been ransacked before they became national monuments and parks. Island Trail, then and now. And you can watch history here. Not bad. Kind of small, but pretty good. A place that attracted a lot of early interest from the early settlers to the Let's go find a view. <laughs> Looks like a gift shop. Aha. Look at the windows. Go down here, check her out. Wow. 
This is what I remember from a couple years ago. This canyon is huge. Just huge. We need to go down there where those people are outside. All right, well, not bad. Get a little bit of a view here, but we'll go on out. These campgrounds are full. Uh, getting reservations at these parks now are getting tricky. These things are sold out. Totally. Okay, I think it was right around here. Yep. Look at the size of them trees. Them things been here forever, huh? Oh, they got them a little backup generator. Look at that. Generac. Wave of the future with all the brownouts and blackouts they claim are coming. Okay, go through the doors here. Should be getting a view. Storyboards. Boy, everybody coming up's gasping for air. That's a long ways down there. A home for all. Well, there's a little landing. That's one I seen down from the building. We'll go down there. What's this say? Oh my goodness. Round trip. Mile and a half down. 700 steps. I don't think so. Wow, look at that view, huh? Beautiful. Down here's that landing I'd seen from inside the building. There is a view everywhere. Absolutely breathtaking here. Storyboards. Cliff Homes and Canyon Life. There's that trail. I can Ain't no way I go all the way down today. We'll go on the upper trail. Ribbon of Life. Yeah, my hiking days way down there are kind of limited. <laughs> but look how far down. So if you're fit, you can get on down there. There's pathways. Looks like the you can see some of the dwellings. This is a really steep canyon. See how far down. They are just everywhere in the side of the, see them? People lived in those things. Well, let's go to the upper trail. I'll hike down that one. 
it's a lot flatter. Well, you can definitely get all the way down there if you want. Alrighty, well, let's go find, the, I think it's called the Rim Trail. Everything's so green here, you know, they get rain and snow up here. A lot different than the lower desert. That was called the Island Trail. Put him into work, the old CCC crews. These guys built these paths, everything, the buildings, created the whole national park system. Okay, back to flatter ground, yay. <laughs> this is the trail I hiked before. Rim Trail. And it's got some really good views. We'll go out to the end of it. Tell them about the wildlife. Here's home. Yes, no, my goodness. At this elevation, you get feet of snow here. So to live in one of them caves, of course they had the wood. They probably had fires going. It looks like an old-time garden. It's probably how they garden, grew their food. This place is really well laid out. They even got little signs that tell you what the vegetation is. See what this says. Big viewpoint. Running water sometimes. So they had to collect and store all their water. Now you can see how far down that is. My goodness. There, now you can see the path and all the dwellings. They are everywhere down there. Got their own zip code. Goodness. Boy, that breeze feels good. That's something they even built that path down there. Well, we'll get down to the end of this thing. Then you can really see them. Perfect day. A little warm. See these little signs? They just tell you what the vegetation is that's growing here. Small pines. Huge fire danger up here right now. Everything is just so dry. Windy. More about their communities here. See, all these ruins. I mean, we've seen quite a few this year. I've stopped at a few of these things. Clear down around Tucson. All over. These things date back hundreds of years. They say, what, back in the 1200s, 1300s? So what does that make them? Over 700 years old, 800? 
Okay, it looks like 850 feet left to the end. What a nice trail. You can just stop. Take in a view. <laughs> full resources I bet but you know through the winter months they really had to store their foods and waters I'm sure they were hunters and probably got deer and whatever else roamed around here well we're gaining on it we're almost to the end that was a long 850 feet <laughs> Not too many people here. Of course, the heat. Weekends, this place probably gets packed. Yay, made it. This is the big view. This is where everyone comes down here to get their pictures. And you'll see why here in just a minute. A canyon home. There they are. You can see the whole thing from right here. All the way across. Way out there. You can see all the holes. Or caves, whatever you want to call it. Dwellings. And up there, there's a visitor center. I mean, there's literally hundreds of them. I wonder how many. I'm, I'm sure they've counted them. All the artifacts. But they said these were really scavenged before they protected them. Looters came in. But the, that was a total community that lived here hundreds of years ago. That's incredible. Well, cool. I'm glad I stopped here. This has been on the list for a while to come back to. There's quite a few places uh, that I visited in 2020 that were so shut down and closed up. Really didn't have good access to it. I'd like to go back to. So when I'm in these areas, I'm going to stop and check them out again. But what a great day use area. If you're not camping, just come here in a car, bring a lunch, enjoy some views. If you're fit enough, you can hike down to the bottom. <laughs> Ain't no way I could do that anymore. Ooh, didn't see this sign. Let's see what it says. Rim life. How they lived here. Pictures of the snow. 
I mean, this is Flagstaff. We're right next to town here. It's that close. I need a water bath. I should have taken one with me. <laughs> oh man, am I thirsty. And I got an ice cold one here, right in my ice cold fridge. Yay. Not bad. Uh, I don't, I forget what it was. $25 a car load to get in here. I'm not sure what the camping fees cost, but it is reservations only. All these national parks, all the campgrounds right now are pretty much sold out everywhere. Very difficult to get in. The amount of people traveling right now on the road is incredible too, even with the high fuel. But we're going to revisit a few areas up here, have a little fun, stay up in the higher elevations, try to stay cool. Going to visit a good friend of mine. Why not? Journey continues. Talk soon.